Hey YouTube, it's Ruth Goddess 1111 and I'm back with some more messages. So, we're going to see what the messages are, you guys. with the room as angels. I already prayed for you guys. Already. Okay. Wait, what are the messages? Oh. Guys. Hey. Y'all saw that. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so some of you guys could be going on a honeymoon. Okay, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, let your friends help you guys. Some of you guys still have good friends out there. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, some of you guys can have new love. Okay, some of you guys... Listen, some of you guys' friend had a lot to do with you meeting this new love I'm hearing. And it's going to lead up to a honeymoon. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay? So, you guys, you guys, your angels want you to know that you guys should forgive your friends. They wronged you, but never forget the lesson. Never forget what you learned. Meaning, in regards to this new love. The things that you used to share with your friends about your love life, it's time to put that to a halt. Like, cease doing that. That was a part of your lesson. Not telling your friends your experience is two, two, two. And your angels, this is the angel, this is your woman's angels. And the, your spirit guides and other angels are all over this reading, you guys. Meaning, stop telling your personal business. Learn from what you have done. And then you can forgive. Because it was part of your fault, too. That your friends were able to contact your person or tell your person certain things whether it was the truth or whether it was made up you heard that horn blow yes 303 yes so it's your fault from confiding about your love life with your friends okay spirit is advising you to let your friends help you in other ways But the divine is over you and your love, life, and connections. So with this new love, keep it between you guys and your spirit guides and your angels. Because you can see the angels in the back. And it's just you and him. Keep that between the divine you and your person. Divine masculine, divine feminine. And it will lead up to a honeymoon. And look, separation is here. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This can also be your friends that I was speaking of. You guys could be in separation. And that's the reason why um, forgiving and learning came out. Because you have to forgive these friends. My spirit will have to send because they only wanted what you had. And I saw childhood trauma during my free my uh pre special. I say free special. Oh, so I was trying to say pre shuffle, but I say free special because your friends wanted you to be free like them, and they also felt like you were special to them, and that's why you are being advised to forgive these people. Are these friends. 
okay and then we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so yes this was a friendship of some sort and spirit is also letting you know to be open to your new love like be friends first Be playful. Be merry with each other. For those of you that have a new love. Or for the ones that do have new love. Or a past love. They want to come in and show you new love. And they could have been asking their friends. How do I get my person back? After all of the lessons that I have put them through and or we put each other through and how do you move on how do you forgive and learn from what you went through and some of you guys could be in separation from your person right now because they're trying to see how they can make go with they move okay look love yourself first is in the reverse and that clarifies the honeymoon card And that means that you guys have been practicing and, and being in the energy of self-love, loving yourself. But spirit don't want you to be selfish with your love. Don't hold back your love from your new love or the or the past new the past that want to show you new love. Because it can lead up to a honeymoon. I just heard just the two of us. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others is clarified with unrequited love. There's not enough, enough love, attraction, or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that's how you guys felt or feel. But you guys are going to be obedient to the divine, right? You will forgive these people, but you don't know about uh, letting any friends help you anymore because you forgave them and you're forgiving and you're learning. And you learn not, that you don't need friends that you cannot confide in without them trying to sleep with your person or go behind your back and be with your person or tell your person things about you that they learned when you was evolving or when you were in your prime. Bringing up old things to your person, making them feel like it's current information that this is what this is who you are and this is what you were doing to your person. In reality, it wasn't true at all. And as you can see in the unrequited love, they have many three people in this photo. Well, actually, five. And it could be three friends, three of your nosy friends. Worrying about you and your love. Jealous because you had someone. You guys look at the illustration. Mad because you had someone that loved you and you loved them. This was like, the you guys, y'all love looked like it was a royal love to these people. You see how they dress like royalty? You see? This could even be Princess Diana. This could have happened with Princess Diana. Because this lady looked like Princess Diana with the dress on. Right here. But it's also you collective. And this, I say royalty. So yes, this could be Princess Diana's story. Okay. By the way, I loved Princess Diana. I really did. And I was really hurt when she, she transitioned. But yeah, this is about the, your friends. They were upset. So they, they, they did a lot of spiteful, hurtful things behind your back. They backstabbed you multiple times because you had a new love. Okay? Because you had a new love. Look, getting to know each other is in the reverse. And that clarifies new love. They didn't want you and your person to get to know each other. Because they looked at what you guys just had. was like it was uh, extraordinary. 
Okay, it wasn't no ordinary love. Extraordinary. Okay, and it ain't. As you reveal your innermost self, see each other, your bind defense, and see that's what they was. It was ten ten. That's not what they wanted. It was ten ten then ten eleven. That's not what they wanted. They didn't want to see you happy with your new love because they didn't find love. And with the honeymoon call, you see how this boat is. They were lonely. They were lonely, and they didn't want you to love yourself. They wanted you to have unrequited love in your life just as they have. And that's why your angels are telling you ahead of time to forgive these people. For they know not what they do. But you have learned. And you will not ever confide in these people again with nothing. And they know that. Look. And you let, you let go of control issues. Or your spirit guides are telling you to let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And it and it clarifies forgiving and learning. That's what I'm saying. The divine is all over this. Like, because some of you guys don't want to be friends with these people no more. And that's why they're telling you to let go of the control issues that you have surrounding these folks. Forgiving and learning is, should, should be the path that you're on. Or some of you guys graduated from that path. And then we have separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And it's clarified with attraction. Yes, because they wanted you and your partner to be separated. Because they saw how attracted you guys were to each other. You attract, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yes, they didn't want you to have that. So they did things to put you and your person in separation. And to leave you like this. And they have your person like that to keep y'all separated, apart, and sad. Like, really don't want to be around each other because too much fuckery was put out in a universe about you guys' this union. Look at my cause fell. Yes, that means a lot of gossip was going on. And it was your friends that was behind it. They were jealous and they also was attracted to your person. Look what fell. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, and they knew that. And you guys know that as well. You and your person know that, and y'all really, really deeply love each other. And it's clarified by playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's still your person. And look, we have retreat in the reverse. And it says it is time to disconnect from the world. No. It's time for you and your partner to be playful with each other. Look, with you is on. And and by you guys being soulmate, it's time for you and your person to step out and let the world see that y'all love each other. But we'll clarify what retreat means in a, in a minute. Okay? Look, at the bottom of the deck, look, we have reconciliation. Okay? Someone from your past is returning to your love. Wait. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Because I say reconciliation. Okay. Instead of read, I think it's reconciliation. Because it's reconciled, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's one of them small, dumb moments. Okay. So, um, honeymoon is clarified by love yourself in a reverse. So, spirit, what is love yourself in a reverse? Look. The garden and the gate in the reverse. The grass wasn't greener. On their side. Without you. And with, with all the fuckery that they didn't hurt. This can be your person's friends or your friends. Okay. And this person is now saying that the grass was not greener on their side. At all. And they were being selfish. Thinking about themselves and loving themselves only. Because of what these friends say about you that this was an unrequited love y'all don't deserve each other y'all don't need to be together spirit what is unrequited love what is unrequited love spirit what is unrequited love from these what did these friends say let's be clear what did these friends say about this unrequited love
Now they scared to speak up. Let your friends help you. And the friend said this was an unrequited love. So what else, spirit? Ooh, y'all saw them jump out. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Envy. Do you hear me? Envy. Look, because your man, your man was the man holding a coin. Okay, they were telling your friends to not invest in you. You only wanted their money because they were jealous. And this could be your friends as well. And the grass wasn't greener on your side. That's why it's in the reverse. Love yourself first. You're going to have a boring life with that love stuff. You trying to leave us and go on a honeymoon or you trying to be in love. Look. And they were blocking, trying to block your person's uh, uh, thoughts of you, their feelings of you. And when your person knew that it was an internal feeling that they were feeling for you, that they just couldn't even seem to explain to their friend and you were their angel, okay? And with the, with a man being here in, in this description, your person was also feeling like you were their strength. But they didn't say this to these people because... Uh, they didn't want these people to know how great you really were and want you for themselves because they know how their friends are. They were a product of their environment. They all were the same. And they didn't want you, they didn't want this person to move on to a new love to be with you. They didn't want this person to get to know you. Your friends are their friends. Spirit, what is this get to know each other in the reverse? Yes, they, that they didn't want it to go down like that. What is this unrequited love in the reverse? What is this spirit? Oh, and I look to my right and I still see reconciliation. Reconciliation, your person want to reconcile with you. Look, look, the sun came out. When I asked, what is this? Getting to know each other in a reverse, the sun came out. Yes, they didn't want this person to be happy with you. They knew, and look how they have a woman in this pool. They knew that you made this person happy they knew that you were the one because the number one is at the top of the card and and they knew that you had a lot of emotions for your person they had a lot of emotions for you with the water and you brought your person peace and you were beautiful as fuck okay some of you guys can have long hair some of you guys could have pretty lips And I see a baby in here. Some of you guys could have gave your person a baby and it was very envious of that. Very, very. Because these, this, this person felt like, these people felt like you were the one for them as well. What is this? Oh my God, you guys. The sun, the sun is clarified by what? The community. You can't make this up. 1811 and a number seven is on here, okay? The number seven can also represent Satan as well, okay? But it's after God. Satan tried to steal the number seven from God. Someone could be 43, 20, 21, or 37, or 30. It could have been going through this for 17 years, or seven years heavy with the community. Spirit, what is this community called? We want to know what the community called is. Spirit, what is this? What is this community called? These backstabbing motherfuckers. And like I said, it was th up to three to five people. And it was you and your person, three people. So yes, three people here, up to six people. It could have been three of your friends heavy and three of your person's friends heavy. That was hating and envious of what you guys had. And they were trying to make your person hold back from you because your person was the man holding a the coin. They didn't want your person to come in and spoil you and love you. Look, look, Spirit said, um, the retreat card, right? In the reverse, is clarified with patience. Spirit said, don't forget about that. Someone could have been going through this for 16 years. You've been patient for 16 years. Dealing with the same shit with these friends of your person or are you them? Spirit, what is this community called? Thank you. Look, all tied up. 
okay in the reverse because yes you guys freed yourself from these people y'all know who they are and that's what this about spirit said forgive and learn okay because you're not all tied up anymore you're not all tied up anymore and they also could clarify letting go of control issues because you're free that's why i said they wanted you to be free they felt like you were going to be all tied up Spirit is saying these, these community people felt like your person or you were going to be all tied up and you wouldn't have any time to be playful with them. With the playful, playfulness called being here. And only thing that you were focused on was your person now that you forgot about them. So they started hating. And they were envious of the love that you, you guys had. They know. They know that you guys made each other happy. And with the baby in the car, that you guys have a happy family. Something that they always wanted and they never really did it. It was fake. I just heard. Spirit, what is all tied up? Give us some more on that, please. What is the all tied up part? They wanted you guys to, they wanted you guys to uh, retreat from each other. And Spirit said, nope. It's in the reverse because you guys have been patient. And y'all waiting on design, divine timing. Someone ain't gonna be behind. Or divine as well. Spirit, what is this all tied up? In the reverse. I'm hearing Dion could be someone's first or middle name. Thank you. Look, all tied up is clarified with what? Yin yin yang. Yeah, these people knew that. You guys were twin flames. They knew they knew that you guys were yin and yang. And they wanted you guys to be free, but all tied up in the reverse. So that you guys could pour into them. They didn't want you to be happy. So they, they caused the separation. With envious comments, remarks, making up false statements that wasn't true. Teasing you or your person about your person trying to make y'all feel like y'all wasn't good enough for each other all type of things Okay, and they caused the separation and they were happy when you guys were in separation from each other because they knew that you two Were deep down longing for each other because they know all about this uh, spiritual Spirituality they know all about spirituality and they also know that they are now in uh, spiritual warfare with you and that was a part of the lesson they had a lesson to learning so did you spirit what is uh this attraction card they knew that you and your person had a deep attraction for each other look the world okay yes they did look they wanted this cycle to end with you and your person and that's why the world card is in reverse and we also have look we are walking away in the reverse they didn't want you guys to walk away from 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 them they didn't want they didn't want you and your person to have a new cycle and 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 y'all walk away from them that's what i heard why is the walking away in a reverse spirit thank you look the thinking man that's why they didn't want your person to be able to have to even think about being with you. Because you know the walking away card is my divine feminine card. And it's in the reverse. And it's also clarifying that your person don't want to be in separation from you anymore. They long it for you because they are highly attracted to you. They don't want this cycle to end. They don't want you to walk away. And, and they manifesting you back with a thinking man. In the reverse. And these friends tried to stop this person from doing that. So your person is most likely going to come in okay being playful okay to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun and shine they want to see if you if they still have a friend in you or you them okay yeah because this is you guys soul me this person come and reconcile spirit is saying i just looked over there and saw it again look look this is your soulmate and hostilities came out in the reverse and whatever is in the reverse this is what's gonna happen to these um uh comics i'm hearing they're going to always uh, have to choose a grass that's not greener on the other side situation. Okay. They will always be tied up now. 
the intuition is turned off. People walking away from them left and right. They stuck in hostilities. And is, is they, with the world being in reverse, is a cycle that will not end for these friends. Look, goddess of the moon in reverse. Yeah, the intuition is turned off. And that's what the patient, that's what the patient card is all about. The intuition being turned off with the goddess of the moon. It's my other divine feminine card from messing with the divine. Okay? Look. They will not be able to move forward with the action card being in reverse. Okay, look, Archangel Uriel, who's highly intuitive, is in the reverse. They shut off all these people. Okay, because yes, they were being a magician in the mirror, causing you and your person to go in separation. Okay, look, and going through the door to romance, knowing that you're the only one that had the key to your person's heart. Okay, they kept your person being undecided about you, being an indecision. But now your person saying is in reverse because I know what I want. That's what spirit is saying. Okay, look, they didn't want you to match your person on every level. They wanted you to be broken. That's the type of magic they was doing. So uh, if, if you didn't have any finances, then your person wouldn't be interested in you because they were financially stable. And this is what they did. They, they attacked your finances as well okay look yeah we have archangel uriel here okay and we're gonna put that over there and she's in the aerial she's in the reverse okay on the pages because guess what they was watching everything this childish comic was doing that the one that was playing like they were angels okay in front of your person after they was doing all kind of fuckery behind the scenes look and with the storm warning card this is the tower the tower moment they're in the tower right now you guys as we speak look Financial constraints, all all financial constraints, and um, financial walls that they tried to put on you and put in your life. Guess what? They are uplifted. You guys are now financially stable. You guys are, and y'all nine of pentacles energy. You all, some of you guys are in y'all ten of pentacles energy. Y'all in y'all bag, and some of you guys are on y'all way there. Okay, and your person took their your, their love away from this comic, indeed. Okay, look. And this comic is now unbalanced and will remain unbalanced. Okay? They would have no abundance will blossom in abundance in reverse. In the contracts, they avoid it and they're forfeited. And if they were in a contract with your person, it's done. Archangel Michael still saying the ass up. The third eye, the intuition is completely shut down. They didn't appreciate anything. Archangel Gabriel is here as well. All the angels turning their back on them. They're coming out in reverse. The door to personal healing and happiness will not happen. Look, the healer of all ages, there will not be no healing for these people. And for you guys, you will receive your cornucopia when y'all do this with y'all person. Reconcile, okay? And the next card I have over here is true love, okay? This is a romance of a lifetime. And just because these people did that to you guys, they, listen, they're going to have to witness this, okay? And that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for viewing, watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace and blessings.